This summer at Math Plus Academy, we're offering three different computer programming camps. And I know for parents, it can be a little confusing as to which camp makes the most sense for, the, for my child. So here's a quick overview of Scratch. This is a perfect introduction to programming for a child who hasn't done any programming before, but has an interest in technology and wants to know how computers work and maybe wants to make their own games. This is a great place to start. The reason I love Scratch is it's all graphical, it's all drag and drop, and the way the programs are constructed, it's very difficult to make significant mistakes, so it's just easier to get into, and of course, since you make fewer mistakes, then it's a lot more fun. So here's a simple example of what you get. You have a view window over here, and in this case, we have a sprite of this cat that we can manipulate with a script. And your scripts you write over here in the middle, and every object that you place into this window can have its own script. So this is the area where you build your script that is going to control the cat. And the first thing I'm going to do is drag over the green hat block. And this is just going to start my program when someone clicks this green flag. And let's say we want to move the cat. So we go in our motion tablet and we grab a move command. And maybe after it moves a few steps, we want to make it turn. And we can edit these numbers in here. So I'll have it move 100 steps and turn 30 degrees. And we hit play. And you can see the cat moved forward and kind of turned a little bit. And if I hit it again, the cat will move forward again and turn. And I can just drag it back and twist it back to where it was. And then maybe I want to do that, but I want to do it over and over again. So I go in my control section and I pull out a repeat block. And you can see that as I move it around, it snaps into place. These commands stick together, and they snap right in there. So that's what makes programming with Scratch so easy. And I'm going to make this a little smaller, maybe 40 steps and turn 30 degrees. And we're going to repeat this 10 times. And as you might expect, the cat is going to go in the arc of a circle. And each time I hit the green, green flag, it just repeats that over and over again. So you get instant feedback on your program. It's fun and graphical. It's easy to work with. And that is the magic of Scratch. Now that you've seen the basics of Scratch, here's something more complex that the kids will be able to do at the end of the week of the Scratch Camp. In this case, I've got this game called Bug on a Plate. Here's a little ladybug. And you can see there are several objects in this game. There's fruit, there's this dustbin, there's the clock. And each of them have their own script. So when I click on them, you can see the programs that go with each particular object. So in this game, you control this ladybug and you have to capture the fruit and as you do so you leave a trail and you are not allowed to ever cross your own trail. If you do, the game is over. And so you can see my program has to control by the keyboard. It has to interact when two objects touch. It has to do something very special like play a sound and put the new object in. It has to keep track of whether I'm crossing my own path. This is a fairly complicated program and kids as young as eight are able to do stuff like this using Scratch. Now here you can see I'm trapped. I can't get back out there very easily. And I'm running out of time, but I can hit the trash can and clear away my path, but I ran out of time. So game over. You get the idea. Pretty sophisticated game. It's even keeping score. That's the kind of stuff to be able to do at the end of the camp. And kids love it. It's game oriented. It's simple drag and drop. It's a great introduction to programming. And then if you find your kid is inspired by this and wants to go deeper and, and learn more, then they can learn a more complex programming language.